silent. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to another video on a bank to May. This is May. Um, it's so funny I have to say that because you'd be like, oh my god, where am I? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I just wanted to, um, I don't know, I give a little nudge, inspire people about why your questioning shouldn't stop at being vegan or plant-based or however you feel comfortable calling it. I feel like once I discovered that, oh my goodness, <laughs> you can actually live a life, you can eat food without hurting animals, you can, and be healthy, and be healthier. And nobody bothered to teach us this, and nobody, nobody like got the memo, like all these smart people, nobody was like, hey guys, I feel like it would be better for us with less meat, or at least not eat it at all. Not eat it at all, what is this? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like when I realized that, I was like, then naturally I was like, okay, what else do they lie about? Because I think it's hard to go, to change your lifestyle so drastically and to find out the behind scenes, you know, the truth behind this. And also not just, not just that it was a little slip, you know, people just got too creative with marketing and they left out the dirty part. But that literally, this is like something that goes deep. It's not just in our educational system, in our healthcare, um, in our politics. This is like connected, you know, in the way that what are we allowed to learn? Um, that we will be taught things that are detrimental to the general public. And if that doesn't make you the slightest bit of a conspiracy theories. I don't know how you went through all those things and became vegan and was like, ah, but I bet that's the only thing that messed up. They messed up about it. I bet like everything else, you know, is pretty checked on, you know? And like, I'm not saying like be, be hyper paranoid, you know, because that doesn't help you either. But like, I'm, I do think that when you realize that something you grew up thinking was the truth and you had to dig to find the truth, you have to, I don't know, you must, you must have some curiosity that says, oh my goodness, what else? What else have you been lying to me? You know? I imagine like a scene in a movie of life. <laughs> I'm a big fan of questioning and like a big fan of learning and unlearning um, because a lot of things I do really feel that we just carry on unconsciously. And we should always be able to look back at our life and examine certain things and be like, is this the truth? Who told me this? Why? And it goes further because I know I make series on, of course, decolonization. But it goes further than that, like for everybody to question, is this actually okay? What else are we enjoying at the expense of others or nature or I don't know, like the planet um, or other animals that we don't eat. Like what else are we living in that is detrimental at a bigger scale? We shouldn't just stop at our plate, right? Question other things like where do you get your clothes from? Um, and I made a video about that. I will try to put it somewhere here about shopping for a better planet. But like what else what are you being taught at school is the things that you should know about your history is that true too um about politics how do they actually work like for example how is it possible in countries of a huge population that claim to be democracies how is it possible that the people who get elected kind of come from the same little group and we're all taught that anybody can be you know can lead the country like and that goes for every country like even in denmark like things like that happen and also like <laughs> basically everything question like have time to be like is this true is this the way that things should be like one thing i remember thinking about like when i was in school was like how did the adults decide that we should have two days off and five days of school and i just it always made me feel like when i was hanging out as my mom like why would you decide that that why can't we at least have 50 50 why is it more times doing boring stuff than doing things we want to do and what i'm trying to say about that is that like there's a lot of things that people say oh it's just the way it is nothing is just the way it is everything is created with a motive with a purpose either while it's happening or later on and it's our duty because we are part of that society do not just say oh that's just the way society is you are society and you changing your way and changing your mind and questioning and being conscious 
is you changing society and I really feel like that's why maybe I feel the greatest activism you can do is to change your own life because then at least you will not be a part of the problem or you'll be as little a part of a problem as you consciously can be. All I want to say is that if you've become vegan don't just stop there like keep digging like what else what else is there like for me after I became vegan um, after I left religion <laughs> Um, after I reevaluated how I see education and how much more I've learned on my own than in school. Okay, I'm not going to say that. That's too much. I've learned a lot in school. A lot. But how I'm more engaged to the knowledge I seek out of curiosity than that I'm taught mandatory and thinking about like how how education can also be different. Questioning things like why do we all have to agree on the same things? Is democracy for everybody? Who gets to decide how the world should be? Why do we all have to have a westernized way of seeing the world? Like, why do we all have to agree? Um, is there just one way of doing things? Or are there ways that fit other people and doesn't fit other people? Why do I spend the majority of my life under the authority of other people? Like, I then school, at work, and then I get just the last part of my life to myself. Why did we design it that way? Why is has the educational system not changed in so many years, you know? So, like, you have to go beyond that. I feel like that makes life more interesting. When you realize, I mean, it does get confusing sometimes, but it's more inspiring to feel like I'm actually paying attention to how I'm living and I'm not just standing in line, like almost robotic, I feel, the way we are usually. That that's just what we do, that's not what everybody does. And people do get defensive when you when you break the bubble, burst the bubble. Um, <laughs> because it's a comfort zone and that makes sense. You're you are trading into unknown grounds. But I just hope that you're brave enough to do that um, because you've already become brave enough to change your lifestyle. And I feel like you should take that beyond, you know, like just keep going. What else? You know, keep asking what else? What else? You know? I mean, like take some breaks every now and then, but keep asking, you know? And then you'll see the amazing thing that life is. Anyway, guys, so that's that video. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Don't be afraid to ask a why. A why. <laughs> Bye. Just find it and do it and do it with good intent and the way you would want to hear it, okay? That's the best advice I can give you because that's the kind of advice I give myself. <laughs>